Ever felt like a wallflower at a bustling party? Or been that lone ranger at a bustling social event? Yeah, we've all been there. But that fleeting sense of feeling overlooked? It's got nothing on what Volodymyr Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, recently experienced. Picture this. At a recent NATO shindig, Zelensky appeared to be that guy at the edge of the room, somewhat shadowed by the heavy hitters of NATO. But here's the twist. By the end of the night, he wasn't just part of the conversation. He was the conversation. Thanks to decisions at that NATO summit, Ukraine's military support scorecard saw a big uptick. We're talking F-16 fighter jet pilot training shiny new weapons, and even a verbal IOU of Ukraine's potential membership in the NATO club. Bottom line, it's not about who gets left out of the group photo. It's about who's gearing up Ukraine's military might with some major assists from Team US and the NATO squad. Diving a bit deeper into Ukraine's military glow-up, courtesy of Uncle Sam and NATO, let's peek under the hood of their ground defense treasures. The stats? A whopping 1,890 tanks, a formidable force of 37,000 armored vehicles, 1,842 artillery launchers, and a not-to-be-messed with 647 rocket launchers. Now, let's talk heavy hitters. Ever heard of the M777 howitzer? This Brit-born artillery star has been Ukraine's go-to in some tight spots. Dig a little, and you'll find that this big gun's been loaded up with the M982 Excalibur rounds. And guess who footed the bill for a cool 3,000 of these rounds? Yep, the good old US of A, with each round's price tag hitting a jaw-dropping $98,000. Named after King Arthur's legendary blade, this isn't just any artillery shell. Armed with laser sharpness and GPS savvy, it's got the precision and range, over 43 miles to be exact, to make its mark. In Ukraine's showdown with Russia, this Excalibur, bursting with a PBXN-9 explosive, made Russia's T-72 tanks think twice before rolling onto Ukrainian turf. It's not just tanks. This artillery MVP has put the hurt on key targets like military bases and other critical spots. Simply put, when it comes to ground tussles with Russia, this is Ukraine's secret weapon. But wait, there's more! Ukraine's defense parade doesn't stop with just US goodies. The Ukrainian forces got a boost from down under with 120 Bushmaster armored vehicles, and Germany tossed in their two cents with 40 infantry vehicles, 25 of those sleek Leopard 1 tanks, and a check of a sweet $655.6 million. When you think of the US backing someone up, it usually ain't just with words. And Ukraine? They've gotten more than just a shoulder pat from America. While the star-spangled Excalibur rounds have been making noise in Ukraine's army, the U.S. has also been throwing its weight behind the Ukrainian skies. The gossip mills went into overdrive a while back when word got out that the U.S. was shipping cluster bombs to Ukraine for its standoff with Russia. Here's the kicker, though. Cluster bombs are a no-no for 123 countries, a lot of which are chummy with the U.S., why the fuss? Because a staggering 97% of folks who end up on the wrong side of these bombs aren't soldiers. They're everyday Joes and Janes. Sending over such risky gear makes for one heck of a dicey call by the US, especially banking on Ukraine to drop them right. Now let's talk about the American poster child of fighter jets, the F-16. If there's a draft pick for delivering these cluster bombs, it's this bad boy. The F-16, which has been in the game since 1973 and getting makeovers ever since, isn't just a one-trick pony. It's geared up for everything from dogfights to ground assaults to bomb runs. If you're into numbers, this jet hits the speed dials at a whopping Mach 2.05. 
which translates to around 1,354 miles per hour. And with a range of roughly 339 miles, it's got the legs to hustle cluster bombs over Ukrainian hotspots targeting those Russian troops. But it ain't just the U.S. pitching in for Ukraine's air show. Cue the Brits with their Storm Shadow missile. This stealthy missile, cruising low at around 131 feet and zipping at speeds up to 723 miles per hour, has a range that clocks in at about 342 miles. Its piece de resistance? The fancy-sounding brooch warhead that goes boom not once, but twice. First, it breaks through barriers like a hot knife through butter. Then, it goes kaboom right at the heart of the target. The kicker? Ukraine's firing this Brit missile from a modified Russian Su-24 jet. Irony much? With friends like these, Ukraine's flying force is looking mighty fine. They're now flaunting 97 fighter jets, 102 special ops planes, and a cool 143 helicopters. Watch the skies, folks. We've taken you through the air and across the land in Ukraine. Now it's time to dive deep and sail through Ukraine's Navy story. At a glance, Ukraine's naval might appear to be sailing on the modest side. We're talking one frigate, one corvette, one minesweeper, and a crew of 13 patrol boats. But don't be so quick to dismiss. Our buddies over in British intelligence are hinting that the Black Sea might just be the next big splash. So, are we about to see the star-spangled banner waving from U.S. naval big guns like nuke subs or those behemoth aircraft carriers? Only time will tell. Pivoting to the troops on the ground, Ukraine's flexing some impressive manpower muscle. The breakdown? A whopping 500 Zero, zero, zero strong military ensemble with 200,000 active duty rock stars, a quarter million in the wings as reserves, and another 50,000 in the paramilitary band. When it comes to tech gadgets, Ukraine's buzzing about the Black Hornet drone. Think of it as a pocket-sized scout, perfect for peeping into enemy lines. With a reach of roughly 1.2 miles, these little flyers are proving invaluable in the field. Dollars and cents time, Financially, Ukraine's been punching above its weight, largely thanks to some generous backers like Uncle Sam and pals. Still, their military budget is cruising at about 30 billion US dollars. And here's a fun fact, that's less than half of the whopping 68 billion US dollars aid care package the US has gifted Ukraine. And that's the end of our deep dive for today, folks. Until next time, anchors away and stay notified. Catch you on the flip side.